Here's a look at 26-year-old John Casey making his seventh start in the last eight games. He's got under a three goals against average, which is remarkable, coming off a big win Saturday night against Detroit. At the other end, Darren Pang, the smallest goalie in the NHL, with, I think, the best-looking mask. He's kind of had a rough start, but the coaches have said he's played very well his last four games. He seems to be coming on. Back for Mark Hardy, and they swing it to the corner. Neil Broughton with a nice little lane cleared by Paul Girard. He just came from the New York Rangers in the bellows fight. Look at Broughton all the way home. Now we're going to have a hooking penalty away from the action. That was a patented Neil Broughton move, but away from the action, a hooking penalty. And it'll be a Chicago power play. Oh, what a tragedy. Not only does it nullify a North Star goal, a great play by that man, but it took away Paul Girard's first ever NHL goal in the National Hockey League. He's the one who's off for hooking, so at least he doesn't have anyone to blame but himself. But what a disappointment. Now let's watch Brought moving through real well. Now the play will be right there at the top of your screen. Brown falls down, which I don't, I can't believe that that was the play, unless he got tripped. Uh, Brooks sweating out a tripping minor for the North Stars. Thomas over the line. The dropper. Here's Noonan right in. Turn to the right corner board. Troy Murray. Up to the point now for Brown. Back on the right side of the Stars try to pull that box in and they score! A drive from the right circle. It was Steve Thomas scoring his fourth in the air, making up for lost time. He was out 50 games with an injury last year, but he's making up for it there with a big blast from the circle. Here's where defensemen and defensive players have to be aware of who's shooting the puck. Now, it starts at the point. Most guys shooting the puck here are not going to be able to blow it by a goaltender. But Steve Thomas can. That's why you can't let him do this. You can't let him just lay it there and then blast it. He is one of the hardest shots in the league. If it's Steve Larmer, who shoots the puck well but not nearly as hard, you can give him a little bit more room. And as a goaltender, I'd always tell my defensemen, these three guys, I don't care where they're shooting the puck from, they can blow it by me if they catch it right. So you've got to put a little extra pressure on them. And Steve Thomas is one of those players, but unfortunately, no one put the pressure on him, and he just blew it Whoa. right upstairs over Man. the shoulder. What our play goes 27% against the Blackhawks. Here's Brock, right circle on the drive, right in. Waist high on Darren Pang, which is about knee level on a lot of people. See, there's a similar shot that we just saw in the goal. And it looks the same, but it isn't. Nothing against Neil. Neil's got a fine shot. But not like a Steve Thomas, who could just blow it by a goaltender. Of course, here he would have had to blow it through Darren Pang. <laughs> Up to the blue line. The Blackhawks swing it on in. Noonan down for Thomas on the left side. Pashek working on Thomas in the left corner, but Noonan comes in. Brian Noonan, number 10, taken to the end wood by Mo Mantha. They go to the right corner, and there's Troy Murray. Mantha with Noonan. Again, they lock up on the end boards. Again, it comes free, and a point flag try by Doug Wilson just popped into the net. Lightning quick in front of the net, and Wilson just basically had to pull the trigger and bury it. It's 2-0 Chicago. One too many Hawks down deeper, not enough North Stars. In either case, Wilson sneaks, sneaks down low. The pass comes out, and he just really redirects it, although he's got real strong wrists. He gets more on this than you'll actually it, that it appears but doug wilson great offensive defenseman snuck down no one saw him coming and then when the puck came in the slot as you saw it was wide open it was really an easy half of a net he had to shoot the puck into intercepted and turned back by dino cicerelli now two on one rotten when mccray hit for cicerelli fans on the puck they go to the corner sutter checked in it and doug wilson turned and leveled cicerelli and leveling done in return, and here we go in the left corner board. Cicerelli taking exception to Wilson. McCray jumping in and working as well. And the fracas becomes general. It originally happened when Wilson and Cicerelli went down to the corner. You can see that Wilson talking and Cicerelli is ignoring it. 121 remaining in the first period. It is 2-0. Blackhawks and penalties are coming. Mantha behind the net. Brian Bellows in the left corner. Graham closing in. Hartsford left point. Guns it in. Oh, and it hit the top of the net. It went off Pang and hit the webbing on the top of the net. A try by Gagne to the back door. It is in, but there's no goal. And I'm not sure it's even in. Gagne complaining. Oh, it didn't get under Pang. He didn't get all the way across in any event. And Basil McRae drawing the beat and Darren Pang shutting the door. It started at the point as Hartsburg throws it in. 
trapping in front of the slot. It hit Pang. Now watch. It hits the webbing on top of the net. Off behind. Gagne will pull it back the other way. You think it's trapped, but it isn't. Look at this. Now Gagne will try a little whack at it on the forehand. Whoa, and he fired it right into Pang. Murray really lays it in. Let's see who gets there first. There's a puck in the air. I think oh, Casey just, snapped. the hand is faster than the eye or whatever. He got there a little quicker. And out duel Thomas for the first to get on the scoreboard. Eagles right go. on the end board for the black box. Bam, and right on it. Now Hartsburg shooting. A rebound saved, and I think Pang thought it was going in. He started to turn around to the back of the net. But Kurt Fraser starts us with a great hit behind. Maybe we'll get a look at it here. No, it hits the oh. goal post. Fraser's just drilled someone behind the net. The puck's gone out front. Puck hit the post, hit the back of Pang's leg, just slithered wide. Good try, though, by Steve Lutzik. Good. Thought it was a pretty good job. Yeah, that was a beauty. Normally, that would have drawn a penalty, but maybe Morrell figures the kid's just up from the minor leagues. He's going to have to work on this a little bit more. Act better, kid, or you yeah. don't get one. <laughs> now, Lutzik does do a good job of uh, making things look good. He always has. There you see the little tug, and there you see the spin. Good second effort by Hartsburg to cover up on this. Mean. It's a classic grinding down in the corner. John Casey with his helmet off. Something's obviously come loose. Deflected away. You can hear it from here. Into the corner they go. By blasted by Gates. And Lent Gates is going to get a penalty. Who drive on a running gun by Doug Wilson. And Casey stops a rocket around the net after this. Now watch. Oh, oh boom. He's going to go back to the point. Wilson sneaking in again, just drills it. And John Casey with the left hand just kind of has it there, has it in the right position, and makes a great save. And like I say, just to get a whistle so your team can get a penalty. That's what really hurts. <laughs> but he, Dennis yes. Savard going over to Dennis Morell and saying, come on. Dennis Savard did go coast to coast. And he went with a passenger. Yeah. Brian Bellows was going for the ride all the way, right from here. Now watch. Bellows starts to grab and hook right here. And he's going to go with him like this all the way down. Now this is tough. This is like a skating grill in practice yeah. where one guy tries to restrict the other. Then Dennis Savard still does what he wants to do. Make that little move and throw it up over the goalie. It's just a little bit too high. Goes over the net. But what an individual effort, and that's why Dennis Savard, as I mentioned at the top of the show, I think is about the third most exciting player to watch. Stumped behind the net by Dirk Graham. Here's Larmer to the corner. McCray is on him. Graham throws it back. And a drive by Graham right on save. Rebound. Save on Larmer. And Casey with two good stops. And Larmer crashing right in on the net. North Stars come back and win or tie this game. Here's going to be the reason, or at least a big part of it. Great save, 23 seconds to go. Blast from the point, now the rebound. Now watch, Casey has to gain his composure. You know, when you give up a rebound and you see a guy all alone, there's a tendency to panic, maybe want to go down or guess where the guy might shoot. But watch, watch Casey how he gets back up on his feet, stays glued, and gives himself a good chance to get hit. Gets around the leaning Dirk Graham. Over the line from Atha Hartsburg with a drive. No, Cicerelli shoots and hits the goal pole. Little drop pass, one-timer by Hartsburg. Cicerelli following up. He hit, it hits off a man as well because the faceoff's going to be in the zone. So if it had just hit the uh, crossbar, it would have been outside. 2-0 Chicago, 36 seconds left in the North Star man advantage. Here's Mantha. A blast by Bellows and it's in. Mantha couldn't shoot, so he alertly flipped it to the left circle and Bellows teed up a drive into a crowd in front of Darren Pang. It's a power play goal for the North Stars. Two to one, Chicago. Couple of things to look for. First of all, watch Mo Mantha's quick stick beat uh, Dennis Savard coming out to get the puck. He's gonna come back here, watch. Mo pulls it right by Savard. Now, I thought Mo should maybe shoot, but he sees Bellows. Now, the key here is Bellows knows if the goaltender's gonna come across, he's probably gonna come across low because you can't dive four feet off the ice. And he's yelling for it. There you can see, I'm open, I'm open. And the key here is, folks, he goes upstairs. And he goes low, Pang's got it, but he drills it right under the crossbar. Changes the whole complexion of the game. Blackhawks back the other way. Here's Savard. Larmer back for Savard. For Doug Wilson in the backhand, move down by Bellows. And 
as he set up the drive. Good penalty by Brian Bellows, diving to knock down Doug Wilson, who would have been in all alone. He's already scored one goal being in all alone. Hooked away from Gagne, and Keith Brown drags it out to center. Eagles and Lutzik gang up on Hartsburg, who clears the zone. Now Eagles, Lutzik open on the left side. Hook, drive, and a rising liner. Casey let it back out. Lutzik again, backhand, score! Chicago. Well, Steve Lutzig, the guy that Hawks just called up from the minor leagues, only scored one goal in Saginaw. So you know he's not a great goal scorer, but makes a great effort to put his team up by two again. Goes down deep, and watch how he fights through after he takes his first shot. Casey makes a save, but a little rebound. Lutzig following up here, gets it, and he's actually going down as he backhands it through Dwayne Sutter's legs and through Casey's legs are just to the right of him. And a great individual effort here. You see, I don't think Casey even knew which side of the puck was on. He was completely guessing. And unfortunately for him, he guessed wrong. The Stars now on their seventh power play. Here's Hartsburg right up the middle. A scramble. Cicerelli thought it might have gone in, but Pang somewhere had it underneath. As a power play goal, his only goal of the year. On a power play, Fraser took a cruncher from Eagles and flung back at him, and the penalty is going to be called for elbowing. Now, Fraser wants a piece of Eagles, but the penalty has been called already, and he'll have to go sit down. I'll tell you, the original one went on Fraser, but it was the retaliation that drew the penalty. Well, North Shore had, had trouble getting the puck out of their end. There you see Kurt Fraser trying to get it under control, and so he's looking down when Eagles just comes flying at him. And Five just been hit behind the net by Rose. There he gets up, and there you see the cross check. It's a good call, but Morell doesn't call it right away. There you see him looking at the referee. Finally, Morell puts a hand up. Giles doesn't know that. He comes over and bumps Five a little bit, and those three guys have been at each other. Five, he goes into the crease all the time. Haven't been able to get anything going on their power play. Casey is off at 18.43 of the third period. The North Stars with the empty net behind, and the power play, and there goes the puck almost to the empty net. Racing airs a gimme. Dirk Graham, who played parts of five seasons with the North Stars. The empty net goal, shorthanded. Now Four that's a danger six. you run, excuse me, Doug. That's a danger you run when you pull your goaltender, even though you have the uh, man advantage. There's no icing. So Dirk Graham knows that. Everybody kind of waited and held their breath to see if this first shot by Steve Larmer was going to go in. The only one who didn't was Dirk Graham, a forward who sees an open empty net. They go a little extra harder because you don't get many free goals in this league, but an empty net could be a free one, and Dirk Graham recognized that, and he just flew by the defenseman, Mark Hardy. Dirk Graham has three goals this year, and two of them are shorthanded. One minute to go. The North Star is still on the power play, but Casey... Here's Brian McClellan driving the line on Brown. Backhand shot by Hepshide in the safe hang. Hepshide rebound! Comes to the corner. Thomas is there with Brooke on him. Six seconds left in the game. A drive by McClellan. You know, Pang does not want to let one in now. And that's the end of the game. Well, the Stars got on the scoreboard in the late going, but it was a pair by the Lockhawks that did the damage indeed. But Chico, the Stars played in many respects a very solid hockey game tonight. The offense was too little, too late, and then the roof fell in in the late going, and it was just too much. Well, you always felt like the North Stars were coming, and they finally got that one goal to put them down 2-1. to one, Started to get some things going, and then very shortly after that, they broke down defensively, and Ludzik scored that third Hawk goal, and that pretty much broke their hearts and their backs, and then the Hawks just sat on it and scored a meaningless fourth goal. But some good things for the North Stars to look at, but still a disappointing loss. A disappointing night for the Stars and head coach Pierre Paget. We'll be right back from the Windy City.